So I'll just make sure that I don't rustle. So questions about a uh, steady state economy. There are regularly used arguments against the notion of a steady state and one of the arguments used is that we can still have economic growth if we decouple uh, energy emissions from uh, from carbon dioxide. Sorry, if we let me start again. One of the arguments used against steady state economics is that we can decouple our use of raw materials and fossil fuels from economic growth. Could you respond to that, please? Yes. I think this probably comes from the Brundtland Commission that uh, put this one into the public domain and paradoxically this was probably the point at which the idea of sustainability became mainstream uh, but the problem was that they talked about sustainable growth and as you say they have this uh, idea that you can re decouple uh, emissions from, from growth by improving our technology. Uh, the idea is that uh, we can have our cake and eat it, we can continue to grow um, while reducing uh, absolutely the amount of emissions. The problem is that those who have bothered to look at this carefully, and there have been uh, several uh, scholarly reviews of this now from, from different sources, so several independent reviews of this, have um, reviewed the evidence and it, it seems quite clear that firstly you can only relatively decouple so you can reduce, you can increase the efficiency with which industry works so that the amount of emissions per capita of output decrease. But the problem is, if your amount of activity, of economic activity, is increasing, then you're getting more throughput through that economy, even though the relative amount of throughput is decreasing. The absolute amount is increasing. Secondly, the problem is that there is the problem of rebound that um, as you make those efficiency savings, often that is then used, the savings made there, are then used to feed back into further growth. And even investment in things like um, wind farms um, can uh, produce emissions elsewhere. Um, so, for example, by making available free electricity, cheaper electricity, um, that can then trigger other areas of the economy, for example, um, that, that mean that people buy more petrol because they, 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 are, they, they can afford to be more mobile. Uh, so, uh, and, and particularly in uh, areas like rural India, that, that is a, you know, a, a real potential, a potential risk. So, really on, on, on a number of counts, this idea of decoupling really doesn't work.